Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. How are you? I hope that you are all well. Thank you for joining me late. Um, I did have a wonderful day today watching the eclipse and spending the day with my family. Um, today is day 51 of the 100 Day Craft Project. It's also Merry Monday. I won't keep you guys too long. Um, I'll try to make it a little short. I did take a look at the, and I've also, I did a lot of talking today. So I have my water close by. Excuse my, if I have to cough or <clears throat> take a moment to um, clear my throat because I my voice is hoarse. Um, I do want to, let me give out my beautiful blessings here. So um, let me bring it up. Um, beautiful blessings to Carol Owen. Beautiful blessings to Annette DePeat. And beautiful blessings to Beth. Wish it were Violet. And beautiful blessings to Terry Mercer. Thank you so much for commenting on my channel so I know you're there. You guys had some wonderful um, ideas, which I think I'm going to do tomorrow for Twisted Tool Tuesday. Um, I think so. Or possibly maybe I'll do it uh, Wednesday. Um, but uh, you had some, you know, cute ideas. And yes, um, I think, Beth, you said that there's they were stick pins. I know... I, I, I don't know. This one says hat pins. These were just from, they were probably replicas. The, but the hat pins, stick pins, yes, you can use those, anything like that on your, in your project. And I always look for these kinds of things, hat pins, stick pins, um, and pins like lapels and things like that. And um, what else? Um, Cuff links, all kinds of things you guys can look for when you're thrifting to add into your, you know, your work. Okay, so I gave out my beautiful blessings, so let's get started. Um, I wanted to put this page in the inset here because it is the cover page to the book. So I think I'm going to do that. We'll go ahead and do that right now. I do have to take a little bit. I have to clean this up because it is going to, cr it's cracking and it's going to break. It's very, um worn um i think possibly we'll do that and maybe i'll clean this side up too there we go just making it a little bit thinner and then you can kind of use anything you want to add it into the book and i think um I have this recycled paper over here. I might use that. <coughs> so how are all of you? I hope that you are all well. Did anyone else see the eclipse too? I know it was everywhere. <laughs> you could not see it. There were some places where I thought it was going to get really dark here, but I was misinformed. Um, I did not know. Um, it didn't get total darkness where I live. Now, I think that there was like a line of where it could be total darkness. Um, some, of, some of my friends down in Texas may have seen total darkness because I think that that was the line of it where it was running from. Was Texas up to like Maine or something like that. I'm wondering... Oh, I'm going to lose part of that anyway, but that's okay. All right, I'll just cut this off at about there. And what I'm doing is just um, uh, making a hinge so that it will uh, go into the book easier. For those of you that are new, welcome. Okay. And I'm just making a hinge, just using a piece of paper, and I'm going to put it on the back side of here. I'm going to make sure. I might just make this just a tiny bit thinner so I don't cover up so much of the elephant. So it's not so thick. Let's see if I can get it straight. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so now I'm exhausted. Now I, ha I, have, I haven't left the house and done anything. And now I've left the house two days in a row and I'm exhausted. 
So it's time to stay in a little bit. And then tomorrow night I have possibly going to go see Godzilla with my youngest son. Because it's um, the movie nights on Tuesday nights. It's cheap, cheaper to see the movie. I don't know why it's Tuesday nights, like half price night or something like that. All right. So, um, yes, this way. I'm putting this hinge down on one side of the page and then I'm going to fold it over and put it down into the book. It moved, so I may have to redo it, which is okay. Don't worry, it's fine. I'm gonna get all gluey. That's how I roll. Okay, there we go. It's sitting in here fine. And I may put some washi tape down there. I don't know yet, I'm gonna check it out and see. Or maybe it will stay just fine. No, I think it will stay just fine. It's on there pretty good. So that was how we attached this page into the front. I like it. This is the cover of the book. And then there was another portion. Oh, why did that? Okay. It's all for looking. There was another portion in here that I wanted to add something else. Oh, here, this Christmas plate. And I just put it back here. I'm just gonna, yeah, it's a Christmas plate page from an old magazine. I found this in something. And it's got all the Christmas plates on it. And then it also has a recipe, I think. Or, no, actually it doesn't. It's just a picture. It's got trees memories of trees and pictures of people's old Christmas trees, how they used to decorate it. I thought that was neat. So I'm just going to leave that in here and I'm actually just going to put a little paper clip, that's all, on there. So go ahead and do that. There we go. And I really think this book is quite finished. Um, I want to leave lots of journaling in the book because Christmas time is a time to reflect at the end of the year, put your pictures in, put your notes in. I just think that's perfect the way it is. I do, however, want to put a closure. So let me just take a look. Oh, I have some more pages of the Christmas book in here. That's okay, I could use it somewhere else. Um, oh, I had Santa. We still, we still have Merry Mondays, so maybe we'll put it somewhere else. Um, I know I have Christmas stuff in here, too. This is all stuff that we've done together. I could use that. See, I could use all this stuff in the Christmas book. Not the ducks. <laughs> Although I could use the ducks too. I could even use this in the Christmas book. So it's bunnies. It has green. You just put a Christmas label on it. Oh, maybe this might work. What were these? Oh, did I not put these in there? Maybe I'll put one of those in there. I don't think I put one of those in there. Do I have an envelope in there? Oh, I have two. I'm looking to see what I have here. 
Even though that's spring, it couldn't be Christmassy because we just kind of make it Christmassy because of the red. We can make it Christmassy. Okay. Oh, look, here's the carrot. I gotta put that somewhere. All right. I don't know that I made too much. Maybe all this Christmas stuff we've been doing, we've been working in here, huh? Let me just check this. Oh, that's right. I left this open so I could see where I wanted to put the pocket on the front or the back. Hmm. I don't know that I want... Maybe maybe if I did anything else in here, I would do a bag. I don't think I would do this envelope. We already have an alligator mouth, mouth going a little bit. I want to try to stop that. Oh, this is a booklet. Did I put anything in here? I did not. I didn't put anything in there yet. I'm going to have to. This might work. Okay, so we'll have to see if we can find a... Oh, what if we put Santa right on there? That might work. It might. I gotta check. Let me see if there's anything else in this book. It's upside down. Yeah. I like that. Let me look in my um, fussy cut thing. Okay, let's see. Maybe her. She might be too small. Uh, a little small. I'm looking for something. Oh, what about the snowman? Possibly the snowman or the house. Okay, hold on. the snowman. Let's try it. I'll use my handy dandy Brenda scissors. See if I can get this to come out really quickly. And these again are from Dreams Etc. Oh, it would help if I have my glasses on. I don't. <laughs> oh, I like him on there. And then, how about this label? I think that will just fit. All right. I like that. Okay, so now my next thing. So I want to make a closure for here. So that's my game plan. And I think what I'm going to do is cut this here first. I'm going to cut the white off so I could just leave the red because I don't think it will fit with the white. 
<clears throat> and then I need a sip of water in a second. Um, works on there. Uh, give me one second. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. I'm going to glue him on snowman. And for anyone who's new here, I know I'm working on Christmas, although you probably got bored and left already, but <laughs> if you're new, <laughs> um, I'm working on Christmas because I'm hosting Merry Monday. And Merry Monday is a chance for crafters to work on Christmas throughout the year so that you can free up your time at Christmas time to have more time with your family and more time for things like that. Um, it's usually good to have things made pre-Christmas. I mean, they do have Christmas in July. There is that as well. But if you want to work on Christmas things on Merry Monday throughout the year, you can gather up your things. If you're a crafter, you just work on the things that you have, maybe that you sell at craft fairs. <clears throat> and you could designate Mondays to do that. And then when it comes time for Christmas, you have things made already in advance. I think it's a great idea. So if you'd like to join in Merry Monday, all you really need to do is use the hashtag Merry Monday. And whatever videos you post, um, people know, well, they're starting to be people to know more and more, um, to just look for Merry Monday in the hashtag, and you can find anyone who's joining in and their ideas for Christmas stuff. It doesn't have to be paper craft. It could be whatever craft you like. Okay, there we go. I like that on there. All right, so now I'm going to do put some grommets. I think I'm going to use the stars. And these are nothing special. These are we are memory keepers, but they have all the colors, and the gold ones are the stars. So in every package, so. It wasn't a special package that I got. <clears throat> and now I'm going to do this so that I could get my line. All right, so there and there. I think I'll do it there and there. Um, up there, I eye these things, you guys. stars in oh you know what let me just cover that I forgot to do the back here let me just do that real quick with something anything anything well, let's use a piece of this <laughs> why not we could use a piece of the 12 Oops, I'll use that somewhere else. I'll use this side. Why does that seem like the flowers are upside down? Oh well, what can I do? There's nothing I can do now. Okay. Measure once, cut 50,000 times. That's the deal of the crafter. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to rip this with the ruler so it looks jaggedy. Better. <clears throat> Just so that there's a journaling spot on the back. Okay. The glue's a little wet there, so I think I'm just gonna jab a little hole in there. I'll poke it through. No, oh, it's not gonna work. Let's just do it this way. So much for not getting glue on the tool, whatever. It's fine. All right, so I'm gonna use this now and pinch it together. And we'll do the other side. These kind of don't want to go through this hole. It is a big hole. There we go. Okay. Now, I can clip the corners if I want. Sorry about that, guys. The camera fell. Okay, sorry. All right, so we were here, and now I did the stars. The back is for journaling. And now I'm just going to take a piece of chiffon. I'm going to put it through the back side. get it through okay I'm gonna measure my book so this part is going to go in the back I'll bring some through because I don't need all of that I just want enough to tie a pretty bow Bring some through this side, through the back. Okay, and now I have my two pieces on the card here. <clears throat> and then I could, I could definitely take the bow and do it anywhere. I could tie it anywhere. So I'm gonna bring it over to the side and tie my bow over there. And you could fix all this at the end. Like that. Cute. Now you could also take this and do it the opposite way so that there's not, it's not in the front. I could have done that, I could do that. Sometimes you can play with it. But that's if I go to the opposite way. Let me see. 
I didn't cut the string long enough. Well, it's very stringy. I didn't cut the string long enough. That's what it is. I have to cut the string long enough for me to get that bow to the, to the, to not come on the front. But I actually, I liked it on the front. So I'm just going to leave it. In order to do that, you'd have to make the string longer. And then you would bring it, I'll show you. You'd have to make the string longer, bring it back around like this, and then tie it in the front, tie your bow in the front like that. But I like it, I like it the way it was. I'm just gonna tie it. Like a big present. So pretty. Cute. So darling. And I like the stars on there. You could just shimmy this and move it the way you want it. And then it, during the course of the video, if I bring out my beads and things, I can do some stuff on the bottom of here. I could take even... Um, no, I don't have any over there. I mean, it, I could take some beads and dangle them off there because when you are, um, when you do that, let me bring this down. When you do that and you have your signature open right here, you can use them as a, you know, some dangle at the top, some at the bottom. And then on this one here, you can have some dangle at the top and some at the bottom. So I'm gonna get some beads out and put them on there. I don't have anything in front of me to do that. I'd have to go and really look deep because I think I have all my Christmas stuff put away, to be honest, um, that kind of stuff anyway. I'd have to go look. But anyway, that's how we're gonna do the front of that cover. And I like it. It's closing it down. It's keeping it all in intact. And I'm going to wish you guys a beautiful Merry Monday. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow for Twisted Tool Tuesday. So we finished up this book now. We have two books finished, you guys. Two, well, two? Yes, we have two. This Merry Monday and the bunny one. The bunny's finished too. We're going to have to put these strings on. And we're going to have to do some sort of closure. Something. Maybe we'll do something similar like this okay blessings to all of you thank you so much for bearing with me these last few days that i've been so busy and going through so many doing so many things but i'll be back tomorrow for twisted tool tuesday and we'll have to think of something fun to do okay bye for now my crafting buddies i'll see you soon